Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going for week two of the premium. League. Why did, why does that guy move up and down? I don't even know. But uh, yeah, week two of the premium League Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join my Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. 311 Sparse Matrix Multiplication, a problem that I have not done yet, so it'll actually be interesting. A lot of downloads, though. So basically, what happens? Uh, do, 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 you may see. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think whether there is a thing. I don't get it. I mean, mm, that is way weird, right? I don't know. So why, why I say that this is weird is because usually when you have a sparse matrix uh, or a sparse array or something like that, the, the, the sparse part of it implies that you're doing some that so basically sparse means that there's a lot of zeros right and the way to kind of compress the data is, uh, or you know to make it easier to represent or cheaper to represent in any case is by you know some kind of thing like like if you have a sparse array you just keep the index and the value and then assume everything else that's not um uh, mentioned to be zero right so there's stuff like that, uh, but here if they give you the entire input, you have to read the entire input anyway. So you save no time here. I assume that they don't, you know, I assume they're not asking us to do some crazy matrix multiplication. Was it like the, uh, uh, what is that guy's name? But like, you know, uh, uh, one of those crazy divide and conquer matrix multiplication algorithms. Uh, I hope not that. And M N and K is equal to 100, and I believe it is just M times M times K, so that should be fast enough. So let's kind of do the naive thing and then see what happens, which is why this is kind of very, um, uh, very confusing to me, to be honest. Uh, someone like this, right? Hopefully, yeah. And then, so answer is equal to, oops, uh, and for, do, 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 right? And then now, yeah, for, I have to remember how to do it, to be honest. Uh, it, maybe that is good practice. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that's kind of awkward, but okay. Um, answer of i k at um, mat one of i j times mat two of j k, right? Something like that. Hopefully that's right. Uh, and then we'll give it some it. Ah, not bad. I, I'm kind of confused about this form. Uh, I'm very slow, but but. <clears throat> Mm, I think this is kind of a weird problem. Uh, but well, what, first of all, I am I am happy. I, mean, I don't know if I'm impressed, but I am happy that I am able to remember this without. I don't know because I, I not gonna lie, there was a probably a fifty percent chance that I get it wrong. So, uh, so I'm glad I'm a little bit lucky in not getting it wrong. Um, I don't know what they want us to do here to kind of like looking at the time. Maybe uh, maybe we could have like parsed the inputs and then kind of optimize it that way afterwards by take but like if that's the case why not just give it to us in the index or like the row column while you uh, pairing right then we can do them do it much then we can like make some optimization there um and also like the constraints are 100 100 100 so like you know like yeah we can make some optimizations now i am not going you know uh i'm a little bit lazy or like you know you gotta keep it simple uh as much as you can, right? I mean, okay, da, 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 da. that's basically what I did. And this is good enough somehow. Uh, I mean, I know how to do sparse matrix multiplication. It's just what we said, right? But but I don't know why they don't give it to us like that. But also true that if you don't, I don't know. Uh,
Yeah, maybe read this part. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to do it today. Um, I feel like I could prove this from scratch. Uh, it's been a while. Um, I, I think that if you want to kind of solve this quote unquote the right way, uh, and assuming the inputs are not silly, um, f the first thing I would do is practice or like think about how to do dot products. Um, and uh, or maybe on uh, yeah, dot products and, uh, with a sparse array, right? Or sparse vector, I guess, in that case. So you, you have a multiplication of two sparse vectors. Uh, or dot mo dot multiplication or dot product of two vectors uh, in two sparse vectors, and then see if you can figure out how to get from that to matrices. The idea is pretty similar. Um, yeah, that'll be the upsolves. But for today, I am just a little bit silly and I'm a little bit tired. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you actually uh, kind of did this one the right way and all that stuff. But yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. Have a great rest of the week. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.